This is the Fit Investor Podcast, where we talk about how to live a more holistic life of being fit, not only financially, but physically and faithfully. We'll be joined by experts in all these areas to share their experiences and actionable and practical tips so that you can be a fit investor too. So now let's join our hosts, Kale Delaney, Wesley Whitehead, and Brenna Carls. Okay, and welcome to the Fit Investor Podcast, episode zero. So I am your host, Kale Delaney, here with my esteemed co-host, the bearded man, Wesley yep. Whitehead. How's it going? And we are going to take this opportunity to give you a little, give you a little insight as to what this is all about. And that's what this episode zero is, because we don't want you to just jump in, not quite knowing what the whole purpose and reason behind this podcast is and get lost. So we're called the Fit Investor Podcast, and that can mean a lot of different things for different people. But what that means for us, our little elevator speech is we talk about how to be fit financially, physically, and faithfully. And the reason we wanted to start this is because there are a lot of excellent podcasts out there that talk about each of those three subjects individually, but there's not a whole lot that talk about all three of those together. And we believe that you really need to have that holistic approach to have a more beneficial and better life, right? Because you can excel at any one of those, but if the others are lacking, you're going to have a real off kilter life. So that's why we wanted to bring the fit investor to you because we're going to be talking with experts and guests from all these different areas, whether it's about finance or fitness or faith, or sometimes all three, because we want to give you some actionable tips in all these areas, things that you can actually put into practice in your daily life to help you on your journey, because nobody has it all together. Myself, Mr. Wes, he might have it more together than I do, nope. but, but nobody has that perfect holistic life, right? So we're all here to learn. We're all here to get inspired and encouraged. And that's what we hope to bring to you with this podcast. So what do you think, Wes? Does that kind of sum up what we're all about here? Yeah, exactly. And the, and the way we, we envision this also is if you are either a guest or a listener who may be doing great at one or two of these things and are missing one or two, for example, we want our discussion and our guests to encourage you to, like Kale said, round out all three like a stool. And uh, if you need to work on imp improving your spiritual life or your financial or fitness, we want this to be an encouragement for you. It's not to bash anybody. It's just to say, hey, look, there's ways you can improve all three. And, and for those rare guests who are doing all three phenomenally well, we want to be inspired by them. Absolutely. And just another important thing we do want to make sure everyone understands is this is a Christian-based podcast. So the views and perspectives that we are going to give are going to be from our faith. Not every guest is going to talk about that because some, we understand not everybody's going to share our faith. But we still want to be able to bring on guests that can give us some real good advice and encouragement in these other areas. But we want our guests to understand that. And again, we hope that by listening to this, maybe we can inspire some people along their faith journey as well. Absolutely. With that, we're just going to give a real brief intro on ourselves because now you're wondering who the heck are these people yapping yeah. at us? <laughs> these two homeless guys. <laughs> So my name is Kale Delaney. I am a short-term rental expert, and that is my business. I invest and operate vacation rentals, primarily in the Smoky Mountains in Tennessee, but also some in Florida. And real brief bio, grew up in New Hampshire, small towns, moved down to South Florida, Miami, or the University of Miami, studied engineering, decided I didn't want to do that. Worked as a senior project manager in construction for 15 years before I decided I wanted to make the break from the W-2 in the corporate world. And in a period of two years from making that decision, I built up a seven-figure short-term rental business through acquisition of a portfolio of $6 million of real estate, best-selling author and a recently released Hospital Will Host 2 book. And now I focus full-time on building the real estate portfolio, as well as co-hosting and coaching and consulting in this space. Excellent. And my name is Wes. I have been in the pet hospitality business for the past 10 years. I run remotely a luxury pet boarding, grooming, and daycare center up in North Carolina. And it's about 11,000 square feet. We have about 50 employees. And before we started doing this, I was in the corporate finance world. I did a few years doing investment management out in California. Did not like that. 
Before that, I did a few years of corporate finance in Miami, did not like that. Didn't know what I want to do with my life until I came to the entrepreneurial mindset. And then that kind of took off. And then as far as education, went to University of Miami, that's where I met Kale. We were gym buddies and then roommates. I have been friends ever since. Look forward to this podcast. Yes. And both Wesley and I are married and have kids. I have three. Wes has like 27 or something like that. 27, 28. Yeah. Hell yeah, fun. <laughs> so, well, great. So we look forward to sharing our guests and our experiences. The first couple episodes you're going to jump into are actually Wes and myself introducing and interviewing each other. So you'll be able to learn a bit more about us and what we're all about. And then we're going to jump into our excellent guests in these different areas. So we hope you guys tune in. If you enjoy what you're listening to, please leave us a five-star review. We're just starting out. So these reviews are going to be critical and share it. So we hope you guys get a lot from this. Thank you very much. Thank you.